here with Ever Sweet Eat Berries. I'd like to talk to y'all today about screen bottom boards uh, and solid bottom boards. Um, there is a big debate in the beekeeping world about whether, you know, which one is better for bees, whether it be screen bottoms or solid bottoms. Um, I think the screen bottom board advantages outweigh a solid bottom board. And in, I also think there's some confusion, uh, confusion that happens, you know, when you look in the catalogs, they just have everything in there for everybody. Um, commercial beekeepers are going to use solid bottom boards uh, and pollinators because, number one, they're cheaper. And then, number two, they're sturdier. So they can move them around without having to worry about damaging the screen in here. But, you know, if you're a hobbyist or sideliner, the advantages of a screen bottom board are going to outweigh uh, a solid bottom board and um, <clears throat> it, it's really ventilation is really important to bees in the spring and especially uh, this summer um, when the heat, hives get overheated they need to go out and collect water to bring back to the hive to cool it off so they're not spending time collecting nectar and pollen and that's the things that they want to do and you want them to do instead they have to go out and get water to try to regulate the temperature of the hive and you know it's just it, those boxes can get really hot so anything that we can do to help them out and make their jobs easier that's what we want to do and uh, what else? And then in the in the winter, you can close it off a screen bottom board with like some maybe your IPM board or you know some corrugated plastic, and then you're turning it into a solid bottom board. You're cutting that draft off, so you're still you know able to use a screen bottom board. So again, more advantages. Um, what else? This uh, let's talk about uh, beetle trays. Uh, it's a little bit easier to use beetle trays with uh, screen bottom boards. Um, the beetle tray just slides right in the back right here. And this is a beetle tray. I'm not going to be able to slide it in because I'm holding the camera. Um, with a solid bottom board, you can still use the beetle tray, um, but you will need a cleat. So just imagine that this is a solid bottom board. And then you would need like a cleat that sticks up and so that the bees can still enter in there. So that's just one more piece of equipment. Um, this is the smooth side of the beetle tray and this is the funneled side, channel side. I'm not sure if you can really see that, but you don't want the smooth side up. You want the channel side, funnel side up. And then the uh, small hive beetle larva will drop down to the bottom. The bees will chase them. Um, and then it's also their instinct to drop down to the ground to pupate. And so you're going to fill this with vegetable oil or corn oil. Don't use, uh, use cooking oil. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then they fall down in here and suffocate in the oil. Um, you will have to clean this out regularly because pollen de and debris and then dead beetles are in there. And so you'll just use a paper towel to kind of scoop it all out and you want to scoop it into a trash bag or a can or something like that. You don't want to scoop it just onto the ground because if there's any live beetles in there, you're just helping them out to get to the ground. Um, what else? Then um, for screen bottom boards, you can use, you know, your IPM trays. You know, they'll just slip right in the back here. Um, or the sticky boards, they just stick right in the back. If you're, you have a solid, you would have to... Um, put that right in the entrance there. And then for the sticky boards, they have to have a mat that goes over top of the sticky board so the bees don't stick to the board. And then I'm not sure how great of a reading that is on on, on that type of sticky board with a mat. So um, if anybody has uh, experience with that, they can let me know. Um, and what else? For the life of me, I don't know why they don't make uh, eight frame beetle trays they only make 10 frame so what we do to overcome that is um our what we sell here is the, it's a 10 frame that we have modified to um accommodate an eight frame box so then you can still use your beetle tray so i guess that's about it there's a bee there's always bees around here um, I guess that's it. If, if you have any questions, you can email me at info at eversweetapiaries.com or Facebook me at, um, oh, 
wait a minute, there was one more thing. Um, with a solid bottom board, the the debris, it does collect down there a lot. And so it can get dirty. The bees aren't always clean and hygienic. So the, the pollen will collect down there debris, wax cappings and all that th down at the solid bottom. And you would have to regularly clean that out. Uh, or else it's going to be a small hive beetle bre breeding ground down there. So with a screen bottom board, it does kind of fall through uh, the screen and it doesn't collect on there. Uh, as much. So, uh, is that it? I think that's it. Um, again, you can email me at info at eversweetapiaries.com or message me at facebook.com backslash eversweetapiaries. Thanks for watching and happy beekeeping.